Alright. Oh, buckle up, Buttercup. You're in for a hell of a ride. <laughs> Sunday, friends. His I, DM Daddy RPG, over here to the side, not in the middle, not running game. Uh, hello, Starfinder Jack. Welcome back to Highlander. Uh, episode 8. Jeez, this guy's coming along real good. I am DM Daddy RPG, here to bring you happy tabletop fun time shenanigans, this time as a player in a Chaos Goblin. And I, with that, I relinquish my power. That's so fast. I wasn't ready. I'm never ready. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how much of this I just make up straight out of my butt. I do. Happy Sunday. <laughs> you do, because I have panic attacks at the grocery store. Oh, that and, you know, that and, you know, because I run a whole bunch of games all the time. <laughs> uh, social spiel, if you're not a member of the Discord, you should come join. We're cool people. We like arts. We like crafts. We like food. We like games. We like wrestling. We like talking about all of those things. We do like wrestling, and I can't wait <laughs> for you guys to hear all about our guest star. <laughs> oh, no. But first, <laughs> but first, also, if this is the first time you are uh, catching this game, or the first time you're catching us, hi, welcome. We're on YouTube. We're a lot on YouTube. There's so much of ours on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube right now, I appreciate you. Did you subscribe? It's really helpful. We're trying to get to 250 this year. It'd be super awesome. But if not, we got all kinds of backlog of games. We got Werewolf. We got D&D. &D. We got... Shadowrun. Monster of the Week. Shadowrun. Scumbility. Almost everything World of Darkness. Almost. Almost. There's, al there's only one or two that we're missing. <laughs> Almost. So hi. And finally, Patreon, if you want to support us outside of YouTube and Twitch, and subscribe to our Patreon if you want. Membership has low as a dollar. You can get all kinds of perks, including weighted voting and spots and one shots, guaranteed spots in games, merch, all kinds of stuff. You can see the full list if you want to check out the link somewhere. Depends where you're watching bricks. this. There's bricks. Oh, you get bricks. You get bricks. 
get bricks. You get free channel redeems. Most people just use them for bricks. I don't know. She's dropping a lot of cares on you guys. I'm starting you each off with one. And, there's a, and she did a random one in chat. And another one. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you. Well, I'm well, I'm rolling to see who gets this. Hey, uh, hey, main folk. I'm about to ask you what happened last week. The week before, actually. So, tune in. Hey, Artie. Yeah. Play your own verse, so. What happened last week? All right. So, we entered the little facility after a very long, drawn out, should have been short, but our rolls sucked fight in the alleyway over one guy three of us dogpiling on top of him just nope um so after we finally got a key a set of keys off of him to get into the building and other places and left him alive for the time who knows um we made our way into the building and then also jason caught up with us shortly we before we got inside too so Oh, cool. Hey, Glenn Dizzle, player hey. of Timothy. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got inside. Saw some uh, burned out clothes in a trash barrel. Uh, I think Bjorn said uh, he recognized. He went to go. Yeah, had some theories. And then we went to go check another door and found a madman with a shotgun. Sure did. And uh, awesome. Bjorn went to play uh, Ring Around the Rosie with it. There, there was a very slow speed chase around an office desk. Hey, uh, DM Daddy, player of Jason Wild, what happened last week? Last episode. Last episode. Uh, well, the immortals uh, being left to their own devices by Jason when found where a gang where they believe that the bomb came from was at. And so I showed up and watched them struggle with a normal mortal towards the end of the thing. We went inside all that stuff that Timothy just said. And then all the goons, all the goons, all the goons started piling in from their party warehouse area and there was a lot of choke points and bullets and stabbings and bullets and more stabbings, and Verso and Jason got to do some team effort stuff as Verso was trying to patch me up while I was still shooting to keep all the dudes from coming into the room we were in. Perfect. Perfect. And finally, Core Hall, a.k.a. Chef, a.k.a. Bjorn. <laughs> what happened last time? Uh, I played a low-speed but high-stakes game of tag uh, with a very irate man with a shotgun whose shotgun I then stole after he spilled my intestines and I spilled whatever organs he had. His we then nice... went... Hmm? I was going to say, his nice, normal, mortal uh, guts. Yep. Those don't go he back. Shouldn't have been sh he shouldn't have been shooting at people then. But af after, the, after the bottleneck, we got into the main room area found they had a whole bunch of stuff some of which we could identify some of which we couldn't drugs guns heck money chemicals we don't know what yeah. and then we went upstairs up a rickety rusty set of stairs and met someone yeah yeah you and uh small time gang leader everett mars trader blows yeah. ultimately came out on top and then I got left behind because I checked the door. Exactly. You were in a crime scene. People wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> there are multiple yeah, ways. To, wanted... There are multiple ways to get out. You would. You were going to be fine. And this week, I'm super, super excited to announce we are joined as a guest star by Brad with Noir. Hello. Playing Les Brockner. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my merciful god. I'm going back to my PlayStation. Y'all have fun today. <laughs> hey. Are you proud Fred, of yourself? Why don't you tell us a little bit about Les? All right. Les. Uh, 
This is this is not a good person. <laughs> he's a uh, he's been running drugs for some, for a crime family <laughs> by the name of Mars. <laughs> uh, he's also done some enforcement. Uh, however, I decided at one point to try sample some of my own stuff and ended up going down a bad path to jail where I'm serving five to 10 for trafficking. Um, however, you know, been making the best of things out here in, in jail, but, uh, recently there's a new guy who's, uh, been making, it been, you know, stealing some of my customers. So I sent some, some people down there to send him a message. He sent a reply. Uh, and it did not go good for me. Last so, thing, uh, <laughs> last thing Les knows, he is dead. Yeah, I was dying. That was the last thing I remember. So, we are not Happy going to. Go, man. We are uh, not going to go fully over your interrogation of Everett Mars. But I do have a couple of questions to kind of narrate this out. Where would you have taken him? I mean, we're getting a little crowded back at the church. I feel like at this point, it's kind of taking advantage. Okay. I know I have no say in this since I wasn't there, but taking, taking Mars back to the church where he would see Calvin in the room that we occupy would mean that now Mars is going to try to kill him regardless of how we try to get, let him leave. So if we took him there, that would have been something to consider. Um, just a little housekeeping question. Uh, did Bjorn get out? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you would have had more than a chance, enough time to meet up somewhere. Okay. Okay. If you are completely at a loss, Bjorn, you could call uh, Grace, and she could find you a warehouse. Um, Timmy, do you have any bolt holes, safe houses that you would have made and kept for a while just, you know, in the off chance something happened? I'm not. Let me pull up my notes. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Let we're me... just going to say you find somewhere. So we're not spending 25 minutes on picking in a location. I was going to say. I will... Ron. Mm-hmm. Well, I will say uh, Ron knows a guy who knows a guy. You have a warehouse. Cool. So you basically talk to Everett for a while. You get the information from him that he was funded and instructed by his father, who he basically inherited the business from. Mikey Martello, he was a big name, kind of old style Italian mafia kind of leader. Mikey is in prison. Um, You would have gotten from your contact Timothy, eventually, Ron would have called you back, let you know uh, both of those things. Mikey Martello in prison currently. You'd have also found out that he was in prison for murder. So he's looking at 25 to life. Mm. The name of the prison he's at. Um, The name, uh, like the number, if you wanted to call the prison to talk to him. Um, And that he was kind of into similar things. So drugs, guns. And um, and women with a little side hustle of some illegal gambling. Okay. Uh, when I call, I'll mimic Ron's voice just so it doesn't sound like a kid on the other side of the line. Right. I want to try to set up a meeting. Okay. So that was my next question. How are you? I'm assuming you're going to want to meet with Mikey. 
Is there anyone who is not going to want to eat with Mikey? I think this would be a job for the adults because they're not going to want a kid just waltzing into. <laughs> you sure? Well, I mean, they would, of course, let his grandson come to visit him, wouldn't they? I mean, we're still going to be talking like on phones, on recorded sure. lines, on plexiglass, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm willing to go. That's not a problem. I would. Hi. Okay. Perso, Jason? Yep. I go where Timmy goes, unless he tells me that I can take a break. Okay. So you call, you ask to set up a meeting. Mikey's just going to tell you to call his lawyer and give you a number. Yeah. Okay. And that is kind of what we'll pick up. Okay. What's the uh, number that I was given? Um, if you Google it, it's a cell phone number. So not okay. a number for an office. Okay. Eight six seven five three zero nine. More or less. All right. Uh, like I said using. Uh, what is, just out of curiosity, what is the reason you're saying the meeting is for? That's a good question. What are we, what are we saying this meeting's for, guys? Well, I mean, it's about his son. Say it's a family matter. Okay. It's family matter. Well, got someone has a matter. We are just, we're concerned about his son and we're hoping that the father can shed some insight so we can help better his life, maybe. Or maybe we don't try to be too specific. Well, so this is a mob boss's, yeah, that. this is a mob boss's lawyer. You say it's a family matter about his son. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a, he's going to want to at least answer a phone call. I mean, for all we know, this guy's got a cell phone in there. Mm -hmm. Please tell them family matter. <laughs> yeah, family matter. Okay. Uh, all right. Open up the phone. Wait a minute. Jason, haven't you been to... Would I know that Jason's been to prison? No. Never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, That's why I up. asked. Well, uh, I'll dial the number. Okay. Again, using an, uh, an adult male voice. Couple rings in. Uh, someone picks up the phone. Law offices of Deb and Deb. Hey, I'm calling on behalf of uh, a one Everett Mars, and we uh, requesting to meet with Mikey Martello. And uh, what's this business about? Uh, I was told it was a family matter. Is he expecting you? Uh, I don't believe so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how many parties? Uh, four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how long do you think this meeting's gonna take? I mean, it shouldn't take longer than an hour, mm -hmm, if that. Mm -hmm. And do you understand the terms of meetings with uh, Mr. Martello? Uh... Could we go over them right quick? Make sure we don't violate anything. Oh, I suppose standard confidentiality applies. No goods or services or money. Money counts as a good and or service is exchanged during your meeting. No uh, admissions. No um, business agreements can be made on prison grounds. If you have anything you need to talk to pertaining to those... Uh, particular categories of business you, you just call us back here okay and what are you willing to offer mr martello for the pleasure of his company today you might be able to put in some good words for him and with the guys in the jail oh 
I'm not really sure that it's something he's needing right now. Well, if he's wanting to come out sometime this year. I see. And who do you know? I know a lot of people. Oh, you know what? Well, roll me persuasion. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this easy way. Who do you know? Your new, your new fancy persuasion. Ah, uh, um, before you give me a yes or no, I'm was I can potentially add a d6. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay, what kind of bullshit? I... Well, before you tell me what are the six years, I can add more. I'm yeah. no, sorry. Well, I, I, I that's I was that's a fairly significant role. bullshit, buddy. <laughs> like it's in our family. We can't sick. hear Come for on. it, but damn. She she goes. Are we talking like um, legal or illegal means? Potentially legal. Mostly legal. All right. I got a. I got a a four thirty. That'd be great. All right. We'll just go into the reception. Let them know you're here for Matello. They'll take it from there. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Mm-hmm. What's up? All right. We have a meeting at 4.30. Hmm. Uh, what were you talking about knowing people? They all asked what I could offer in exchange. I told them I know some people that might be able to help them out. Here, I thought we just needed to put some money on his commissary, too, but okay. Well, they said no, you know, no money or anything could, could be exchanged. And also, right now, I'm a little tapped. Mm -hmm. It was an idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a good thought. So what time is the meeting? 4.30. All right. Uh, Jen, what time is it now? So it's about an hour and a half from now. You have time to do something, but not a lot of things. Okay. So that's yeah, about an hour and a half. I don't think the phone was... Is there anything we need to do first? No, she... she... I mean... Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm going to go grab myself a clean sweatshirt that's not covered in blood. So you're going to go back to your hotel I, room? I probably need to do the same. Okay. <laughs> if the hotel is not far, then yes. Okay. Uh, same reasoning. That's fine. Everyone has time to get some food, get changed, get back together. Get some stitches. Get some stitches if you wanna. Thanks. Like, like not not like maybe maybe Ugh. nurse at the church stitches or do it yourself stitches, but not like wait at an ER stitches. Yeah, no, no, I did not mean go wait at an ER. Okay. Off the book stitches. <laughs> we can go see uh, the Versus friend. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks. I got it. Actually, they might have more... that. he doesn't heal. Might have more... He's mortal. He does. You are immortal. You are fully healed, just for the record. Got it. Thank you. Is it too late to stay back and try and help him out? No, nope. you, you you're already declared you're going where you're going. Jason's got it. It's That's fun. What I thought. Okay, have, right. There's enough time to call it a rest if you want to roll um, to recover some health, too. Jason. Thanks. Yeah, they're doing magnet blocks, right? Da 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 Uh, hey! Damn. Uh, oh no! Oh no! It was that would have been seventeen if it was full? That's cool. Twelve. Yeah, that's still not bad. It's still really good. It's still really good. Okay. So, are you only leaking a little bit now? He did some good stitching. All right. 
So are you, Jason, are you driving or are you taking public transportation? I'm going to drive because, you know, probably shouldn't public transit John Wick style bleeding out from various cuts and gunshots. <laughs> All right. So it is a prison. You cannot, I mean, why did I go like Italian? You cannot bring, you cannot bring weapons in. Unless they are entirely plastic and you can slip them past a metal detector. Jason does not but even try to bring a gun in. Do not try to tell me that your swords are made of plastic. <laughs> I wasn't about to say anything about like this logo. Do not tell me your gun is 3D printed. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'm an American. Just Thank wanted you. to like make that very clear. All right. So you get to the jail. Guess what? I have a very bad map. Ooh, mappy. Ooh, I like it. Well, thanks. I'm sure it is nothing like the inside of an actual prison. Do not come at me. Hold on, let me look. Check. I can't see it. Hey. That's fine. I'm fine with this. It's fine. So you walk in. Have any of you been inside of a prison in character? It's like <laughs> every other prison not, you've been not to, unless you're 900 and you've been into like dirt cellars. Not recently enough to count. Have any of you been in modern prisons? There we go. The inside of this reception area is somehow at at the same time incredibly dingy and run down and yet like wiped sterile clean. It smells like mop fluid as you walk in. There's some benches. There's a big desk set out right um, across from the door with kind of some board security guards there. There's a scattering of people gathered around, like some on their phones, some just kind of anxiously waiting. Probably to go inside at some point. But the only person that you can see immediately to go to is the person at the reception desk. Walk up. I I'm behind Jason. Let's bring your kid with you today. Sure. Hello. Like a board, a board guard with like hair, like slicked back, gelled within an inch of its life. This looks up from his computer. Yeah. Uh, we had a four thirty with Mr. Marciano. With who? Character's name. I... Martello. Is it Marci? Martello. Excuse me. Martello. What time? Four thirty, I believe. Yeah, I don't deal with that. Uh, go through that door, and then the other door to your right. What's your name? Uh, okay. Uh, not here under character. Bjorn Ragnarsson. Do you have ID? ID that matches. He's just gonna hand his hold a hand out to the adults for IDs. You hand yours over? Jason, do you hand yours over? Yep. He does some typing, runs your cards through like a, it's probably a copier. Hands them back without even really looking at them. Then gestures for you to go through the door. There's someone standing at the door. But it's, if you go to it, it's, you can see straight through it. There's not someone, it's not locked. Uh. Y'all were instructed. Okay. You open the door up, you can see another kind of like windowed off room to the right with a ton of tables, a ton of chairs, and actually a couple of vending machines where there are little clusters of people seemingly just waiting and hanging out. Right beyond that is another set of doors. This set of doors does not have a window you can see through. It is clearly a, an electronic keycard locked door. 
Grab a table. I just go sit in a, a corner off to the side. Okay. I get some snacks and a pop for Timothy. Right at 4.30. Not the reception guard, not a another guard you've seen. An entirely different guard comes in, opens the door, doesn't ask for your names, doesn't call out Motello's name. He just like points and gestures for you to come with him. Follow? Yep. You go up the elevator. That's the gray little square down there in the bottom right. And then up one floor. Without saying a word, this guard leads you down this hallway. Let me resize you really quick. Uh-huh. Uh, leads you down the hallway. Down one set of doors to this meeting room here in the middle. Still not saying a word, waits for all of you to get inside and then leaves. I glanced at everybody like, is that weird or just me? And to me just drinking his drink. Didn't say anything about the kid either. There's those shrugs. He hasn't been in a prison in a while. Like, visiting. This room has a table and chairs on both sides, plus a couple of chairs on the sides. They're all bolted down. Mm -hmm. But there's not that uh, handcuff loop that you've seen before. Maybe you've seen them in cop shows. I, I'm going to type something on my phone and then set it in front of Bjorn for him to read. Not saying it out loud, but it reads, for someone who's done enough crime through all the years and everything, maybe don't talk about, hey, is this weird in a prison where there's everything being recorded? And then I'm going to take my phone back once he's done reading it. You would also know, Jason, how long did you spend... In juvie, uh, I believe we said like three or four years based off of my backstory. It was a, an older time. Cell phones weren't quite as prevalent mm -hmm. back then. However, you do remember that if anyone ever came to visit you, it was more than a two-step process. Yep. Just not saying you anything because the second information is introduced to this group that we just spent 30 minutes arguing. So Jason's just keeping that internal thought in it to himself. You usually march down to, you know, visitation adjacent to the waiting room. There'd be visitation and there'd be a whole bunch of various people all visiting and stuff. Not a private room. No, this is much more like the room you might have had if you were talking to your lawyer. Just keep it to himself. I look around uh, after he mentions being recorded. Like, are there any cameras in here? None that you can see. Do you want to roll for it? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, Pierce just got here. You don't see anything. Do you want to possibly, let me see what I can have you roll. One second. Do you want to roll streetwise, maybe? Let me streetwise. Yes, ma'am. If this is maybe one of those lawyer meeting rooms, you do know that there's probably not going to be recording devices because those meetings are supposed to be secret and confidential. 
Well, they're inadmissible, if anything else. Okay. Okay. So you just settle into wait? Yep. Okay. Meanwhile, it is cold mm. and dark. And the last thing you remember, you were face down, bleeding out of a lot of brand new holes. Gasping and gurgling on your last final breath. Gasping and gurgling from your holes. Yep. Okay. No. <laughs> bleeding from your holes. <laughs> That's fine. No different. <laughs> Uh, uh, suddenly right. you gasp awake, freezing cold in the pitch darkness. Uh. Two specific cares for Les Brockner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then you, Les, you can let me know when you want to roll with advantage on those. Okay. Well, for now, try to figure out where I am and why it's so cold. When you go to reach out or sit up you realize you don't have a whole lot of room to move before you touch something really cold maybe metal mm. and it's weird because you still hurt a little bit but not much and you're feeling better by the second that's well at least i'm feeling better all right let's uh but it's dark in here. I need to get a look at what's been done. So, got to try to find how to get out of whatever I'm in. It seems like whatever you're in is very small. Just maybe a foot over you, half half a foot to either side of you. Okay. And directly beneath you is just like metal. All right. If you oh. lift your head and you tilt your neck just so, like you're looking just past your feet, mm -hmm. you can see the tiniest sliver of light. All right. Well, then kicking my way out. <laughs> give me a strength. Or give me an athletics. There we go. Athletics. There it is. Do I do that? Perfect. Okay. You rear your legs back, kicking and kicking, and after the third kick, that something slides, slams open with a metallic thud, and you see a square of light just beyond you. All right. Well, let's make our way out of there. That's the way out of whatever I'm in. <laughs> As you kind of shimmy and crawl your way out of this, like, metal tube you've woken up inside, your feet hit cold linoleum, and you straighten up and look around. It's the same dingy but sterile walls and floors of everywhere else inside of this prison. But it's somewhere you've never been before. And as you turn around to take in the rest of your surroundings, you see a wall of cabinets, a wall of lockers, and then a small wall of more refrigeration cubbies. What the fuck? <laughs> you glance down and you watch as some of the knife holes that you know were there, you actually watch them like sparkle with just the slightest bit of blue flicker as they continue to close. What the hell did I take? <laughs> okay well step one clothes <laughs> start run, looking around this room and not not the morgue lockers but <laughs> give me uh give me an investigation all right Oh, perfect. Yeah. Your eyes are immediately drawn to the bank of lockers up against the one wall. And as you pop one open, you see a set of scrubs. Standard dingy blue. 
No shoes, no socks. Uh, but you do have some clothes. Yeah, we'll go with that. Are they normal people-sized scrubs? <laughs> Will they fit me? I'm gonna be a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack Reacher, watch out. <laughs> seems kind of scream for mercy as you pull it on over your head but miraculously somehow they stretch just enough to accommodate yeah <laughs> all right we're gonna huh i doubt there be there well it's, it's the morgue i'm look i need i need something we're gonna look for I guess scalpels or <laughs> cutting implements. Since your investigation role was so, you can, you, you your gaze pains right to the bank of cabinets right next to it as you sort of rifle through. Uh, obviously, this is the morgue. People are not expected mm -hmm. to just be wandering around without. Yeah. <laughs> chaperone here you do find like some suture kits you find um some sterile wrapped um scalpels you find all kinds of needles and syringes you find a couple of vials of drugs but they're not the good shits okay just like lidocaine for stitches and insulin and yeah that's not thing. exactly gonna have <laughs> like anesthetics in the morgue <laughs> no <laughs> Not really necessary. All right. So we'll take we'll take the scalpels. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I'm gonna make, I guess, my way to one of the doors. Okay. To, and see um, if I can. That that north door doesn't exist. I don't know why I put it there. <laughs> okay. So there's a there's one door. Um, gotcha. Which you. Because you've never seen this place before, you can probably assume heads back out to the infirmary. All right. Well, we're gonna walk over to the door, but we're gonna we're not gonna just walk in. We're gonna creak the door open just slightly and peer it, see what we can see. Okay. Um, give me a stealth then. Okay. Now. Said with advantage, I roll do. twice. Yep. Okay. You have advantage on stealth, so roll it twice. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> you you know most of the doors in this place tend to be pretty creaky. It's not any mm -hmm. like nobody WD forties this place on the regular. So you you twist the door handle, realize it's not locked, and then you slowly pull the door open just slow enough that the hinges don't catch and make a noise. Cool, cool. As you peek your head out of the little crack that of the door, you see the beds, just three lined up against the wall, the desk with the computer, the small stash of supplies they have there, and the nurse sitting at our desk doing some work. Completely oblivious to you. All right. Well, start sneaking my way over to her. Okay. Another with with thing. with that crit, I'm just gonna <laughs> let just I'm just gonna let that happen. You kind of creep across the way, barefoot, straining against your own clothing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't hear you whatsoever. All right. Well, first thing first, I'm going to grab her but around the mouth and and then scalpel to the neck. Not not killing, but holding it there. All right, give me a strength. Okay. Just... <laughs> You're rolling so good. <laughs> Y'all better hope he uses it all up now. <laughs> We're all gonna die to the fucking guest star tonight. 
The second you grab her, she kind of squeaks out in surprise, pulling in a big deep breath to scream, but you slam your fist over her mouth mm -hmm. before she can really make much of a sound. When she feels that cold, sharp edge up against her neck, she freezes. What's your what's your passive perception? My passive perception? Yep. It's gonna be what, what does I that think mean? It's nine. I think it's nine. Let me look. I, it's like, I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's nine. Underneath your HP? It's, uh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, as far as you can tell, she is frozen in place. Okay. And that's, me... that's where we're gonna, okay. we're gonna swap back to the meeting room for a minute. Okay. I imagine there's no conversation while you're waiting for Mikey. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Eating my snack. Okay. All right. Then at 4.35, the door opens, a guard lets in kind of exactly what you would picture if you hear the name Mikey Martello. He's an aging, portly fellow with a receding hairline, hair slicked back in a prison jumpsuit. But he doesn't have handcuffs, doesn't have ankle cuffs. He's just cordially let into the room. He looks each of you over in turn, eyes lingering a little bit on the kid sitting there with the snacks. Then he nods his thanks to the guard wanders in and kind of gestures for Verso to get up and move. Yeah, we're up, we're moving. <laughs> he gives kind of like a quiet chuckle and lowers himself down into the seat Verso had occupied just a second ago. Well, I don't know who the fuck any of you are. So this will be fun. And Jen, I'm, I'm going to still use the uh, the grown up voice. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. <laughs> now, you might not know us, but uh, we know your boy. Yeah, yeah, I heard this was a family matter, and none of y'all family. No, we ain't family, but I e. So I just, yeah, I gotta tell you, I, I'm walking in here already a little frustrated. Feels like this is gonna be a waste of my time. I don't like my time being wasted. I might, you help, I might have you 25 you. to life, but I got a lot of shit going on. As you help us, we help you. It, you know, even Steven's kind of trade, you know? So I heard. So I heard. I got my doubts. But, uh, look, we're just looking to how to figure out who's bankrolling your boy now. That's a very specific question. You got a very specific mm -hmm. reason? Yeah, somebody, uh, they blew up the park. You hear about that? I don't get much news here. They threw a bomb out in Central Park. Um, anybody who wants to roll insight, feel free to do so. Oh, sure. Ten. <laughs> nice. Okay, everyone but Jason. I'm too, I'm, I'm too distracted for different reasons. Jason's just there in case like somebody needs to be punched or something. This guy, this guy is lying. That you know when someone is actually surprised, and a bomb in the park seems like something that would actually surprise someone who hadn't heard about it. This guy knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. We we're trying to find out. Because, you know, I was like, I had some friends down there. I 
I'd like to know who I went and hurt my friends. I don't know you. I don't know you from Adam. And why they got a kid talking for everybody? I'm a lot older than that, look. I figured. Uh, Mr. Martello. Um, hmm? Sir, I'm, I'm just the muscle. I've got nothing to say. No, you worried something bad's going to go down in prison? Yeah. He goes back to shutting up and looking out. Is there a window looking down into the yard? No. Okay, cool. Then just staring into space. Hey, Jen. I'd like to use one of my tricks. Also, there's oh. there's there's a harm in chat, Jen. Okay. Random. Random. A random. <laughs> First, so I'll let you know when to use this disadvantage, by the way. All right. But yeah, I, I would like to use one of my tricks on this guy. Sure. Which one? And what does it do? Oh, there we go. Trust me. You're asking a non-hostile person for information. You can roll an influence die to nudge them outside their comfort zone. Okay. Make he gets a wisdom save. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> Brad stealing a mall. <laughs> Six. Six questions. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. But seriously. I said, we told you we could set you up. We can set you up, try to get you out of here sometime before the end of your, your sentence of your lifespan. Yeah, I got people working 24 seven on that. I'm perfectly well, fine where I am. But... People working on it. Mm -hmm. What do you want, kid? How is that? You got balls, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it happens. Uh, you in charge the... of these no. adults? Yes. Well, that one. <laughs> Let's. Shall we cut to the chase, please? I'm just, I'm just the prettiest. Hmm. Debatable. Looks right over at Verso. Sir. You seem like a man who would who appreciates direct on and honesty. Correct. Hmm. Most of the time. Okay. Just tell him. Don't don't try for the secret stuff. Tell him what. I haven't asked. We him have reason to, yet. We have reason to believe that your son was directly involved in the bombing. And because right now he only runs, you know. What he runs, we figure he's somebody's bankrolled him and throw, you know, kind of trying to throw him under the bus. Mm-hmm. Honestly, what do you want to know? I, I want to know who's trying to throw him under the bus. I he runs his own shit. Who would who would want to do? Who would gain or profit by setting off a bomb in Central Park? Probably somebody who got paid for it. Yes, but paid by whom? Because right now, the buck stops at your son. Personally, I don't think it was him. He doesn't seem the kind who want to just randomly commit an act of terrorism. But I'm fairly sure he would do such a thing if paid properly. I think most people would, given the circumstances. So what we're trying to find out is who paid him. He does what he's told. I, yes, and I'm quite sure that's correct. But by whom? If he runs his own shit and he does what he's told, I have no interest in anything bad happening to your son. I I don't really care. 
What I'm after is the person who paid him. And possibly the person who paid them. Hmm. Just working your way up the chain? That's about the, short, the long and short of it. Far up as it goes. <laughs> I understand that your, your son is connected. Your son is a figure of some importance. Good I have idea. no interest in the call. We need names. We need ab addresses, phone numbers. You kids aren't very good at subtlety, are you? He does what he's told. And who told him? I did. May I ask why? Yeah, because you're a fucking genius. I got paid a lot of fucking money. Okay, yes, by that. whom? But who's paying? I love that this is an awful... You believe me. This is an awful well, lot of intermediaries to go through. If this person is high enough to be paying you the amount of money required to make you do this, it would seem to be that... Why are you rolling your eyes over there? Who roll? Who, me? Yeah. Because I'm long-winded. You are. I am. If there's a person who could afford to pay you that much money, why wouldn't that, that person just do it themselves? Why go through all the rigmarole unless they're trying to find someone to pin it on? All right. Hey, uh, silent guy. What's your name? Jason will gesture between him and Verso. Points to Jason. Uh, Jason. Jason, tell me something. Why would somebody want to put extra steps between them and a crime? So they don't get caught. There you go. Yes. But does that mean that they paid you enough to take the fall? Hey, Bjorn, maybe we let our talker actually talk to the guy. Fine, sir. Also, don't forget, we still have his son as a bargaining chip. No, no, we don't. No, no we do not. <laughs> no, we tell him that his, you know, yeah, actually, we kind of do. His son's okay. in a warehouse somewhere. If you want to discuss this, you can do this in character. <laughs> you, if you want to step out of the meeting room to do so, we'll probably let you do that. However, we're going to switch back to the infirmary for now. Yay! Think about what you've done. Show us more how Brad's going to fuck us up when we come across him. All right. Oh. So you have the nurse. Yep. Knife point. Yes. Oh, no. All right. Where's your card? Key card. She holds one hand up like she's kind of afraid to move and then like points to her waist. Okay. All right. We will slowly move the knife one because i can just jerk this in any direction when in when it's to get my point across so to speak if i need to be but holding the mouth closed still as i move that move that hand down because it's just a scalpel it's not like i need a, my entire hand to hold on that tightly okay I'm going for the key card okay uh, roll me. Roll me Dex, actually, really quick. Oh, there's my bad roll. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Go oh. nurse. Go nurse. Get out of there. The second your knife hand starts to drop away down for from her neck, she lunges forward slamming her knee underneath her desk. You do not uh -oh. catch her in time. But a millisecond later, alarms immediately start blaring throughout the prison. No. All right, well, she's dead. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I need a hostage. I need a hostage now. That was a quick jerk reaction. I was about to. Mm. It's like, you stupid bitch. Uh, nope. Oh, now the, the mouth doesn't matter. <laughs> Fine. Alright. I'll buckle up, Buttercup. You're in for a hell of a ride. <laughs> the second, the second <laughs> your hand moves from her mouth, she starts screaming. Just, just starts cutting promos on her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, the arm is going around the deck because I'm going to now be wrenching her around. <laughs> so where do you go? There's oh. one door you know goes out to the hallway. You do know all of the exits in this hallway are going to be locked, but I'm gonna say you have her key card. Yep. Or at least access to her key card. It's kind of on a little retractable belt loop situation. Yep. So, yep, we're gonna be start dragging her out to the main hallway there. Okay. And I, have I been in the, I've probably been in the, how long have I, I don't know how long I've been here. You've, you've been here. You've been here about three years. Okay. So, so you have been to the infirmary before. So I got an idea of where I need to go to get out. You do. Uh, what? Which is? Which would I think was the best way? Since Brad personally doesn't know this place. <laughs> the most direct way to um, either an elevator or some stairs is going to be that door to the right. Well, the that's... elevator's a no-go. That's just a kill box. <laughs> it is. That's... There's also stairs there. Um, so if you're fast enough, okay, you should be able to at least get stairs because it's only one floor down. Okay, we're going for the stairs then. Um, there's also, alternatively, if you can get to the door to the cells, you can probably go out to the yard, but that's still going to be some locked doors between you and an exit. All right. Now, we're going to try to go the fastest route. We're giving them as little time to <laughs> to mount a defense against this as possible. So, <laughs> And even with your, your passive perception of, of nine, you hear doors kind of like the magnetic lock switch on all around you. You, you hear footsteps scuffling out of security rooms, and you see the door directly across from you fly out open. All right. At least one security guard hand on his taser. All right. Well, using her as a shield, ramming him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Improvised weapon deployed. Yep. <laughs> Roll athletics. Are you a nurse? <laughs> go get your nurse. Hey, Brad, stay away from my nurse. <laughs> That's Brad's nurse now. That's my nurse now. <laughs> no, he can have all the nurses he wants, except for mine. You stay oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alright. Is this the one who made you cookies? Is it? <laughs> She's just volunteering this weekend at the, at the <laughs> penitentiary. Using, oh, yeah, using also <laughs> the nurse as a battering ram, you kind of slam her into this armored security guard directly in front of you. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Um, you do have two advantages. I will let you use one now if you like. Yeah, I'd like to do use one of those advantages. Use one up. You just roll again. All right, because that was God damn. Oh, well, you know what? Good thing is it's the better of the two. That's good. Not the second one. <laughs> oh. You still, she kind of bounces off his vested chest. Okay. And the guy pulls the taser up to try to fire it at you. Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> I would try fighting. to make sure, well, yeah. Give me, give me, um, a dex saving throw. Just straight dex? Yep. Yep. Damn it. Rolling terribly right now. Yes. We have a chance again. I'll use my second advantage. The second one? Okay. Damn it! Pierce is just gonna <laughs> drop all of his redeems on well, helping well, Brad. Well, hopefully, all these negative ones go away. Right. <laughs> these terrible ones, Jesus. You hear like a click as the electrodes of the taser shoot out and catch you right on the neck, just past where your hostage is 
protecting you because you're you're much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. You are a much larger target. They sink in and your muscles twitch and spasm as you drop down to your knees. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Another security guard starts to file out. What would you like to do? Uh, you are prone, so it'll take your action to stand up, but you can do some movement too. Okay, well, I'm, what I'd like to do, I don't care if it's going to hurt me, it's better than being tased the whole time, is rip these things out of my neck. <laughs> okay. You can easily do that. It is not I'm not even going to make you roll for it. Right. It just takes time, not a ton of effort. Yeah. Your hands shaking and spasming from the currents of electricity racing through your body. You reach onto the little leads that lead back to the gun and rip them out. It hurts for a second. Mm -hmm. But then it no longer hurts, and you've been tased before. Oh. You okay. know that should continue to hurt for hours, really. Oh, Looks like the electricity is no longer connected. Hell of a drug. It feels so much better. <sighs> well, that, then I'll stand looking very pissed at said security guard, because I'm going to have to fight you. <laughs> the security guard has tased quite a many people before. So he's baffled as you recover so fast from the electrical current. He tosses his now useless taser to the side and tries to pull a weapon. That is All your right. turn, so you can act again. Uh, where's my scalpel? Just on the floor still? Where? Because I got tased. I don't think I'd be able to still hold <laughs> the scalpel. Evens or odds? Uh, evens. Nope. You have dropped yep. it. It is now on the floor. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to try to, I guess, grab that and then stab his hand that he's going with the weapon for. Okay. Kind of like a disarm move? Yeah. All right. Roll me strength. Brad received a care. <laughs> yes. I'm really just depending on chat for this. That's three so far, in case you're playing along at home. <laughs> All right, let me roll his. Oh, where did my thing go? There it is. It's like you're you know exactly where that scalpel is. You reach down, scoop it back up, and jam it deep into the center of his hand. He howls like instinctively jerking his hand away brain okay. not quite functioning fast enough to realize that's a bad idea as the guard behind him raises his weapon all right and fires at you okay a 16 hit I yep believe it is. okay that shot definitely hits you it thuds in through your chest and you even feel it like bursting out the back as your the left side of your body is just full of hot searing pain. Mm. It does six damage. Oh, six. All right. You can jot that down for now. Yeah, I'm putting it in the current HP. You hear the bullet hit the wall behind you. Have you been shot before? Brad? No. Not you. Les? Probably. <laughs> Considering his mass. <laughs> Not you, Brad. Jesus. <laughs> You've been shot before. It fucking hurts. And this one hurts a lot, too. But hmm. seconds later? Already. You realize the burning has started to go away. And hey, all you immortals. <laughs> the meeting room. Yeah. As he works his way in your direction, <laughs> there's another immortal around somewhere. We're back in the meeting room. Well, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Noted. 
But we're in the middle of something. <laughs> the al- oh, Jen? Uh, the, yeah. It, since the alarm has been activated, is the door to our meeting room locked? No. So we didn't hear it go clank? Okay. You've heard clanks all around you, but that specific one, as far as you can tell, did not clank directly. But you are now hearing the dulcet sounds of an ear-piercing siren and feeling the predictable tingles of danger nearby. Probably heard the gunshots, too. We'll say. We'll say... Not yet. I'll let you know when you hear the gunshots. Okay. These uh, things are kind of happening at the same time. Yeah, the alarm just went off. I still have to take her across the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate prison. You've been before? Eh, Julie. Oh. Child's play. Literally. It's fine. Someone probably just got jumped in the hallway or didn't want to go to shower. Neat just kind of looking over at uh, my fellow immortals. Like, oh, well. I'm not, I've been told not to talk. <laughs> I, I, I tap Bjorn on the shoulder. Will you check that out? Mm-hmm. But make sure everybody's okay out there. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I stand up and turn and walk. Because we're not going to be rude. I want information out of the guy. I don't want to take him off. Okay. Uh, I go and I poke my. I open the door and poke my head out, just looking. There is both ways. Sort of a flood of guards in the hallway. At least four that you can see. Uh, anyone who was roaming is being herded back to their cells in a very forceful and loud manner. It's chaotic. You do not see the immediate source of. Problems. Four guards and they look like they're bum rushing somebody. Uh, I step out into the hallway a little bit further, sort of like here ish, to try to look around this corner and see if maybe I can see more of what's going on. As the guard kind of hustles past, he points at you and says, get back in there. Okay. I turn as if to start doing it, and then once the guy walks past or runs past me, I just sort of go back to looking. Okay. You can look if you want. You do not. Besides the chaos of guards trying to herd people back to their cells and to sort of take up a defensive investigative position, you do not see the source of the alarm, as far as you can tell. All right, step back inside then. Uh, bunch of guards, cause, somebody's causing a ruckus. Okay. What else you want before they come and yank you out of here? I just got Clinton thoughts again. Um, who, who paid it off? Who started the bank roll? It's kind of a long story. Old family friend. I know it. I might know your family friend, but uh, go by the name Trust. No. Okay. Never mind then. Like, can we get some contact info with this guy? It's not really that easy to get a hold of. He calls you. I'm not. I'm not one of those that believes in superstitions or something, but 
I don't know if you're going to pick up what I'm laying down, but it, he was my friend. He was my daddy's friend. He was my daddy's dad's friend. All right. Uh, write down a number. Uh, With what? What I got? Hmm? No, I, I'm writing down a number. Um, I just have him give me a call. Please. Why? For what? We might be able to do some business. He doesn't have a number. Well, have him get in contact with me, whatever. we have to get his attention somehow? It doesn't work that way. If he wants something from you, he comes to you. This job, three million. Mm, not changing face, but in the back of the head, like, damn. <laughs> how... Tim, how are you paid then? Wire transfer, cash? Wire. Timmy, do we know anybody who can trace that? Maybe. So this guy that was a f your friend and your dad's friend and your daddy's daddy friend is like, does he only meet you at night? Does he stay away from garlic? Like, new vampire? Smart ass. He is. You're the one telling me he that is. for three generations the same guy's been friends of your family. I'm just saying. I don't care if you believe me. You wanted answers, I, just, I give you answers. Can I just, I'm just going to look at Jason like, really? I'm just going to look at Dora and be like, why are you antagonizing the guy? Oh no, you want me to go pee in a bottle so you can smack him around with it? The fuck? You had to be there. I'm glad I wasn't. I wish I wasn't. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Maybe his genetics are just so. You clearly probably. don't know. Any, you clearly don't have anything to tell us. What a waste of time! I thought you were a boss. This is stupid. You don't get to be in charge of stuff by just giving up your contacts anytime anybody asks. All I have is a name. So I've got. I have. <laughs> May we know it, please? Remember, Timmy is a personal confidant and friend. <laughs> What's the name? Giovanni Danella. Danella? Danella. Danella. You can believe me or not, he's been with our family since we were back across the ocean. I believe you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Older than you look. And at this point, you hear a gunshot. I, I think that signals the end of our time today. <laughs> Poke head out the door, looking for a guard. There's one running by. Yeah. But he just kind of gestures for you to go back into this into the room. It we're done. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> back outside of the infirmary, hostage in hand, gunshot in chest. Yeah. Uh. Well. The other guard jerked his hand away from his weapon, so I'm going for it. Going for his weapon? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Give me an athletics. There's the nice. <laughs> There we go. Hey, Back in action. 
This this <laughs> card has clearly never been stabbed before because he's making an awful big deal out of the scalpel wound to the hand. <laughs> you, with almost no effort at all, just shoot a hand out, grab it, and yank it from its holster. Okay. As the other guard tries to shoot you again. Because yep. why are you still standing? Yep. I'm going to be shooting him next. Because I would rather have the injured guard <laughs> as a hostage than a healthy one. But he misses. <laughs> the shot flings off to the right and, and thuds into the drywall behind you. All right. Who are you shooting? The, uh, the, the perfectly healthy guard. Perfectly healthy guard. Okay. Yeah. Roll, uh, roll strength for me then. Strength? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Those guns? laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, what? That's my reaction. I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that is enough to hit. I'm going to, do you mind if I roll damage for you? Nope. Cause it's I, fine. I've got a sheet with a gun on it. <laughs> Gotcha, that's that's fine. Okay. Cool, cool. Um I guess ignore the top part. Oh Jesus. You should... you hit him either way. Alright. Eight damage. You catch him. You you see clearly where the vest is. And so you show you shoot lower. Mm-hmm. Right right into his torso where his legs kind of meet his stomach. And he drops down to one knee as the bullet just tears through his body. Okay. The, the nurse, meanwhile, is just screaming and thrashing in your arms. And I'm not even going to make you roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> you big boy. You got okay. her if you want her. Quick, DDT him while he's down. <laughs> Verso's nurse sense must be going off something awful. The guard with the stabbed hand starts running for the exit. The one opposite from the one you want. Okay. You let him go? No. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> I shoot him. <laughs> I don't, I'm not afraid to shoot him running, man. <laughs> let me, uh, let me roll this for you. Yeah. Since you've got the weapon, I do. Go exactly. for it. That so. hits. Good God! Um, that hits. Uh, quick thing. Yeah. Do I have advantage on the attack? Because he's bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, you want me to roll again? Well, no. No. My special ability, vital strike. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Where I deal extra yeah. 3d6 damage. That's right. That's what it does. <laughs> 3d6. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. There we go. This man, as he turns to sprint down the hallway, it takes 24 damage. <laughs> you raise the gun and squeeze off one shot, catching him right in the back of the skull. <laughs> There's just a confetti of biological material that litters the door as he just instantly drops to the ground. Okay. T two random cares in chat. <laughs> Y'all monsters. <laughs> they're random. They're random. Oh, they're random. They're random. Okay. They're random. <laughs> well, this can't go to me. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see if they catch you in the first place. Jason, you've got one. Let me re-roll re -roll that second one. And so I've got two. And Bjorn, you've got one. Yay. <sighs> Les. All right. Um, don't, don't forget there is still a random harm out there, too. Yeah. Is there? There is, Ashley. No, I, I rolled that one. It's a okay. disadvantage for okay. so whenever I want. Oh, right. That's right. All right. Perfect. Okay. So... I am going to uh, gonna go over to the. I'm going to be dragging the nurse over to the other guard, who's doubled over right now, because okay. I'm going to be taking his badge. He seemed closer <laughs> than the guy who ran down the hall. <laughs> okay. Yep, he would be at this point closer. All right. 
All right. uh, I, I don't I don't need any sudden heroic, so we're just going to go finish this guy first. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you roll for it. It's an enclosed space, and you are already, you've I, I already need, healed three. I don't need any random, <laughs> I, don't, I don't need any random heroics from this guy, so. You're, as you're, I take his you're, badge. Your wound, it kind of, like, tingles. Oh. And it gets hot. And as you realize, like, something's happening, that wound is already half closed. What? <laughs> like, he takes a moment at that, <laughs> just looks at it, gives it an eye, and then moves on. <laughs> it's like, huh. <laughs> that is hot. something for later. Hey, yep, things to look at later. Let's, <laughs> once we're out of jail. Yep. <laughs> There's another Karen chat. Random? Yep. Can't reply to Chef. Well, let's see you again, Jason. A3. Yep. All right. All right. What, what are you doing him. next? Grabbing his key card. Okay. Th does his tingle uh, go off? Yeah. But. He doesn't he know what that means. He, should, he just he does. Does. He shakes his head. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Just... <laughs> it's like your ears start ringing for a second and the yeah. world gets a little wobbly and maybe it's probably just because you got shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's acting really weird. That was weird. Uh... <laughs> All right. We're at the security office, right? So, Is there cameras yeah. that I could... <laughs> In the security office? Yeah. All right. I'm trying to see, you know, where the guards are gathering right now. Okay. Cause... You poke your head inside that security office. There's mm -hmm. sort of a big window that you know is open to the yard down a floor. Mm -hmm. And then there's banks of security. There's like somebody's lunch on the counter. Yeah, because, you know. He's not alarm... going to need it now. <laughs> yeah, the alarm's going off. I'm not, uh. I'm not trying to just, I, you know. The... Bullets are being weird, but I'm not, I don't think I could take like, you know, a hundred. <laughs> One bullet here and there seems to be fine. All at once, no, we're, we're going to avoid that. We're not going to test it there right now. You've seen uh, security protocol quite a few times, mm -hmm. including as you were dying last time. Yep. You know that the guards are all going to wrangle anybody back to their cells. They're going to align the hallways, block the exits. Okay. And as you as you look, you see that there's a set of guards doing just that, wrangling people back into their cells. Another set lining the hallways, blocking the exits. Ah. Uh, I looked down at that. You made this a lot harder than it needs to be. Look around the security office because we're going to see what 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 do they got here other than this gun that I've now have. They don't have any other weapons. Okay. Um, you can probably guess that the weapons locker is located elsewhere, somewhere where, I don't know, for instance, prisoners don't have quite as ready access yeah. to unlimited ammo. Yep. Um, there's somebody's car keys. There is a wallet. Right. There's the Great Gatsby laid open, okay. face down. Well, we're gonna, for right now, we're gonna throw the nurse into the far. What are there? We're just gonna throw her in one of the corners, and basically, you move, you die. <laughs> and uh, we'll grab the car keys, but we're also going to be taking uh, one of the dead, the, the dead guard in here's vest. Okay. You can you spend a minute or so. Stripping his vest off, putting it on, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't Velcro it shut. Well. You can lay it over you kind of like an apron, but you yeah. are far too big. Got it. Gotcha. To actually secure it. All right. Meanwhile, the, the nurse is just snotty and sobbing in the corner, begging for you to let her go. Talking about her kids. She has kids. I should have thought of that before you hit the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you were going to kill me. This is a protocol. <laughs> yep. Go. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Well, not my problem. Go ahead and grab her. <laughs> okay. Because I'm going to have to make my way out. Guards are going to be a little less hesitant to shoot. <laughs> okay. Which way uh, do you go? Uh, they're lining up everywhere, though. They are. So. You still know the stairs. If you can get to the stairs, that is going to be yep. the easiest way. Because you can't and, shut down the stairs. Okay, I'm guessing the stairs are the ones up there with the little stair design drawing. Those are stairs down to the yard. If you want to oh, go okay. that way, that is one way to get down. Um, you have a key card. You can probably, possibly get out that way. But the little gray block in the lower okay. right. All right, I guess we're heading that way. Then okay. Towards the gray block. Back in the meeting room, you hear several more shots fired. Yeah, I think it's time we leave. As a as a guard kind of bursts into the room to grab Mikey by the elbow and shove him back to the cells. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, don't forget what you promised. Mikey, you got a gun I can have? Of course not. <laughs> I haven't done my own shooting in decades. You got a guy who has a gun I can have, looks at the security <laughs> guard with Mikey. Secu <laughs> Mikey also looks at the security guard right in the eyes, reaches out, grabs his gun, pulls it from the holster, and then holds it out to Jason. Appreciate that. And yeah, don't forget that either. Oh, well, Jason's going to assume the standard with Timmy position. <laughs> One hand on his shoulder, guiding him. Gun. <laughs> Here it leads Mikey off back to the cells, leaving you for at least a second alone before another leave? guard. Yes, what's up? Uh, I, when the first guard leaves with uh, Mikey, we, I look around. We leave? We leave. If we can leave. Or we stay because we're innocent and there's no one to say otherwise. But we want to attract more attention. Jason's going to guide Timmy to the side <laughs> the door and is going to go step out into the hallway to make sure that things are okay enough for him to come out. And Timmy poking his head around. Sure, sure, Timmy's immortal and Timmy can live forever and whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But Jason is still paid to do a job. You've got an 11 year old human shield and you're not using him. I love it. Okay. So, Les, you get to the door. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Well, not really a stealthy way to badge a door open, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna badge the door. Okay. And, and slow, and basically slowly pushing the nurse out, but with the gun trained on her, like basically, so they don't just start opening fire when I come around the corner. <laughs> okay. You slowly crack the door open and like use her as a scout to just kind of yep. telegraph your presence an arm's length behind her. Yep. And she is screaming, hey, guys in the meeting. <laughs> you can hear a woman screaming. As at least two guards start yelling, shouting uh, at someone to drop the gun and get down. Uh, he reaches into his pocket. He just, like, flips over the uh, pepper spray in his pocket to where it's easily just... Right. Would that have gotten through security? We didn't metal. get we didn't get security checked. It's not metal. Yeah. There there are there are metal detectors at the like entrance. Right. But it it's plastic. Counter offer. <laughs> Click gun at her head. You drop your weapons. <laughs> her hands fly up. Just she's, her eyes aren't even open anymore. There's just too much 
weeping in snot as neither of the guards lowers their weapon because it's not protocol. Let's go and jack it on the floor. How many guards are there? Currently two. Currently now that two. there's a commotion, you can expect more coming. Yeah. Where where are they at on the map? Just so I Um, they are if you are right there. Uh-huh. They are right here. Blocking your door to the okay. stairs. Alright. Fine. Be that way. I'm shooting one of them. <laughs> okay. If you were expecting me to get real creative, it's not gonna happen. I I gave it okay. to my gear cat offer, they refused. She's still my shield. <laughs> okay. Let me just jot that down really quick so I can keep track of hit points. I I'll shoot the one that's closer to the gray box. The one closer to the gray box. Okay. I'll yeah. let number two. Shooting. That is enough to hit him. What did I do to this dude's stance? It's cool. Jesus. Um, <laughs> that's I'm just seeing. No hesitation. It kind of gives you a brief enough second to fire off a shot, catching him in the neck, just above his ballistic vest. As blood sprays everywhere, he kind of drops his gun and drops to his knees. He's not dead, mm -hmm. but he is just using both hands to try to staunch the bleeding. As the second one fires at you, because you just fired at them. Yep. Well, I, I feel like as, as as he's been going, he, he he's got the idea he can take a bullet. Apparently, I, I'm on some good shit right now. <laughs> well, that definitely hits. Oh, okay. uh, he fires off as as well as he can, trying to miss the screaming nurse. But at this point, hostage gonna hostage. You know, his his. Bullet hits you right in the right thigh, digging deep, just missing the bone. You can actually feel it as it burns a path through your leg. You take six damage. Okay. Let's see. That would put me at 48. All right. And and your movement is, is slowed to, to 15 instead of 30. Mm -hmm. For now. Okay. Meeting room folk, what you doing? I see Jason trying to sneak. <laughs> He's muted. I went down the hall. I'm not trying to sneak because there's so much chaos and everything. I don't really need to. Okay. And uh, we've been right behind. Because I know, I know down the hall is how we get out of here because that's how we <laughs> came up. <laughs> sure is. All right. I, I stopped I stopped right there because I'm hearing all kinds of arguments of it was like put the gun down let the woman go put the gun down and it was like better idea you do that <laughs> put the gun etc 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 gunshot 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 and without looking behind him just because he knows he's just gonna put his free hand back <laughs> to make sure Timmy is staying behind him. Because he knows Timmy's probably right there. <laughs> All right, Verso and Bjorn, what are you guys doing? You, I'm following behind Jason and Timmy at the moment, and I'm just keeping a look of the surroundings. I'm already kind of in the mindset that I can't do much in this situation because we're in the stag middle of a prison, so. Okay. I'm coming, I guess I'm holding up the rear. Like, since, Jen, these, the cells right here, mm -hmm. are those open, like, are those open face to us or are those just a row of doors? It is, it's just a row of doors. Okay, so we don't have to worry about anything there. All right. Honestly, Not yet. I'm walking. Yeah, that's what, right now, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just standing here waiting to see a whole, that entire row of doors open and expecting something bad to happen. I mean, someone does have access to the security office. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised. Yep. I'm, honest, I'm honestly shocked he didn't do it while I was in there. 
Hey, Jet, okay. uh, do I have a view of the standoff going on in the main area? Because I was right behind Jason. You can... Sure. <laughs> you see just the neck of one security guard explode as he drops down to his knees. You can't see Les or his hostage exactly, but you definitely see the one guard drop. Is there another guard in the hallway behind us? There are several guards in the hallway behind you making their way in this direction. At least some of them are. Okay, I'm going to stay behind Jason. Is there is there a door for storage? There is a door for storage. It's locked. It's a locked door for storage. Do you want? It? I can open it right quick, but that's probably not a good idea right now. Yeah, sure. Open the door for storage for me, Timmy. What are the guards behind us doing? They're running out towards us. Yeah, there's two heading up this hallway. When they get past us, I'll open up the door. Okay. How are you opening it up? Because it is a oh yeah, metal. No, and also metal would never. Never mind. Can't. Um, they would not have come with me. <laughs> is Jay speaking loud enough for me to hear that? Sure. Uh, in that case, when the guards run by, I try sleight of hand to lift one of their badges off them. Okay, go ahead and roll me that now. I'll let you know like, if and when you have it. Just a brush pass. Um, Les, what you do now? Well... They shot me in my leg, so me bolting out of here is not going to work. So... Your bolt is halved, yes. Yep, so, nope. He's going to be like, he's going to look at the other guard and be like, fine, have it your way. Better save your friend. And he pulls the nurse back into the door because he's going back to the security office. Okay. I, there's more coming. I can't outrun them now. I need to make them have another problem. Okay. Yep. <laughs> if I hadn't I taken that bullet to the leg <laughs> uh, he is going to the other security guard is going to get a shot off because you are fleeing okay it does not hit you though it hits the woman it's a botch <laughs> is it a botch? oh yeah it's a one yeah right that was a stormtrooper shot <laughs> no because you're like limping backward he fires off another shot. Instead of hitting you in the chest, it hits her. Her her screams are immediately silenced as shock kind of ripples through her body. Oh, and no, she starts. Awesome. All right, I drop her. A, Just shut the a door. Gasping kind of cry. It's She's still alive. Offer. Yeah, well, what? yeah, I'm not dragging a bleeding, she... gasping person. She'll die. But if they if I leave her outside, they have to help her. <laughs> Do you leave her outside of the door? I, yeah. hate, I hate evil Brad so much. I hate <laughs> evil Brad so much. Otherwise, they killed her. <laughs> I hate Wait, this. Marshall. I hate this. Marshall, go nurse the nurse. As, as you open that hallway door back up to head back to the security office, another guard has come in the other door. Okay. Also shooting at you. Yay! Crit! Damn it! He hit. Critted me. Fuck! He hits Seven, really eight. hard. Ooh. Right there, the, in the same leg that's already been injured. God like, just damn. muscle tears apart. But as you look down to assess the damage, you notice that the other one has already stopped bleeding. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Hobbling down the hall and shooting. <laughs> Said guard. Just not and... stopping at this point. Just... <laughs> okay. Well, you know that. not even taking it. It's like, I have no human shield anymore. They shot it. <laughs> it's like, so I... <laughs> oh, let's see. Is that enough to hit him? That, that is just enough to hit him. Uh, you catch him, like, right in the left arm as he spins around. But he, he keeps hold of his weapon. Okay. And he doesn't go down but you can get back into the security office 
in, in yeah. the time it takes me to regroup if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Just uh... meanwhile, outside of that hallway, a young woman weeps. Um, I tap first on the shoulder and hand him the key card I picked up. <laughs> and it's up to hand this to Jason. Hello, MacBook. Um, hand it to Jason. Take it. I hand it to Timmy. Open the door. <laughs> the second the door like blips and unlocks, I'm shoving Timmy into the storage room. Okay. Stay here. Be safe. Be quiet. Okay. I'll start exploring the storage room. It's like there's like cleaning supplies and changes of sheets and right and I close the door go looking for some door. all right check to make sure no other security or no other corrections officers not security guards corrections officers are running down the hallway are there uh there are there's the one bjorn swiped a card off of in a second one coming up this way I thought they I thought they went past us towards the altercation. That one did. The other one hasn't made it to you yet. Okay, well wait for him to pass. Okay. I didn't know what your plan was. I know, it's okay. That's fine. Wait for him to pass. Once he's passed, it's like, all right, dudes who can't die. There's a criminal taking people hostage and like letting them die. Would we like to be good and do something about this? <laughs> Yes. But... All right. Uh, tell you what, I walk up beside Jason and just sort of like hook my head around the corner, trying to just like get a quick view before anybody can shoot me. All right. There's a woman bleeding. Verso, if I pull her back here, do you think you can do some medical stuff? There's a guard up there at her, trying trying to. First aid, but it's well beyond needing stitches. Okay. I am going to help the woman. You guys go deal with the dude doing this. Because you can't die like the rest of us normal people. <laughs> Fine. Well, all right. Uh, I Can I have the key card back? Knock what on the. What are you doing in that security office? Knock on the door with Timmy. Uh, looking okay. for whatever I can do to open the cells because I need to cause as much chaos so I can get out. It's very easy. Just hit all the buttons. Yeah, he's, he's just making so... an investigation roll. He is not like super bright, but he knows that one of these buttons does it. <laughs> Say investigation. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can't, can't figure it out. It's a computer program of some kind. So as you click through, it, it's going to take you at least uh, another turn to figure out what button to press. Because it shouldn't be, like, easy, easy yeah. to open all of the cells. Yeah. But he's got, he also, he's got, basically while he's doing this, he is keeping an eye on the door. Because there was, the other guard wasn't down. He's waiting yep. for him to look, come in. Yep. You hear him, like, muffled talking into a radio as this door over here. On, on the right hand side opens up and another guard steps in. Okay. You can you can hear the sounds of an extra set of steps so you know there's at least two outside of this room right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still working on the cells because uh, that I'm... would stop more guards from coming in. Right. What is everyone else doing? I get the key I get the key card from Timmy and give it to Bjorn and I go to try to help the woman. Okay. Uh, let's go do this. I walk up as if nothing else is going on. Like, clearly walking around people doing first aid. I walk up to the, to the security door and knock. Um, although there is a guard just on the other side of that, they are, nobody's going to open it for you. I use the key card that I stole, open it, 
and walk inside the security office. You're gonna have to walk into the hallway just outside of it first. Um, Jason, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought the door was still open. I apologize. Roll me medicine. Uh, where did I put my character sheet? What monitor screen is it on? I'll use one of my advantages. Yeah. Fuck me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she, she she is definitely shot. And you are maybe there's some stuff in the supply closet. I, that li you would be able I, to I literally was about to look at the secure at the at the corrections officer with me, and yep. and ask if we can move her to a more secure location, out of the way. But what about the security? What about the storage closet? The officer. The officer. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch what Bjorn said. I said so. or the infirmary, since it's on the same hall. Okay. Well, you're not in his brain. Um. Sorry. He the uh, corrections officer nods. Um, kind of helps to pick her up. Mm-hmm. We'll help pick her up. Just sort of gestures behind you vaguely knowing there are some rooms back there that are further away i know where to go go to the storage right. closet where i have timmy okay. where i hope timmy still is timmy has not left okay uh, and we are looking for potentially any sharp sharp objects like what anything that could be used quasi bladed Look, I understand that. I'm trying to think of something in a supply closet. That's uh, like I'm not exactly cleaning. sure what would. It was. It's just a cleaning closet or it's, linens. Yeah. It's like linens and towels and whatnot. Is there a glass container I could break for an edge? No. Okay. It's a prison, man. You could try breaking the mop. No. Break the stick on the mop, maybe try to get a sharp point for a improvised spear. Knock on the door the same way I normally do to let Timmy know it's me. Yeah, that's, that's him. <laughs> and come in with with corrections officer and bleeding shot woman. Oh, goes and grabs some of the sheets. There we go. Rerolls. Uh, hey, hey Les, reroll me investigation. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, no. Jason, Jason, or to re roll me some medicine. Yeah, still not great, but better than a three. <laughs> oh, yeah, Timmy. My other half, my half that's good at this stuff. I'm just good at the fighting. <laughs> Can you scrounge material from all around you? Some towels. Uh, you find, like, a sheet and sort of improvise a pressure dressing to stabilize the bleeding. Oh. She's not okay, but she is not getting worse. Uh, pull out my cell phone and start calling 911 for ambulance. Okay. Usual, what is your emergency? Gunshot wound. So-and-so pre uh, prison. I haven't received an alert from the prison yet. Uh, it's going on. I I was a guest, and it, things went sideways somehow. I don't know. I just know people are shot, and I'm holding a nurse's insides in. How many people, and she'll just go through the attention I, grabbing information guard. script. Okay. You're muted. I'm going to take Timmy's phone since he's on the phone with the kids because, you know, he sounds, or the police, because, you know, he sounds like a kid. I sound more like an adult. And I'm using my ability. I'm calling the police. Uh-huh. What does that do? Uh, police respond if you call to report security problems related to your official duties. Okay. It's the same thing I did in episode, same thing I'm doing, did with episode one. Perfect. Timmy's in danger. Get help. Yes, that. Okay. Perfect. I described that the woman who's been shot uh, is 
well, the wound is stabilized, but she still needs medical attention. Uh, <laughs> there is a prisoner causing all kinds of problems in the prison, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, yada. Yeah, no. Okay. De uh, multiple downed corrections officers. Yeah. Yikes. Marissa, what are you doing? So Bjorn has knocked on the door, right? And we're now in the hallway. Yep, you are in the hallway. Bjorn is at just now booping himself in at this door to the security hallway. Jason and Timmy are in the storage right here. There's one guard all the way up here still. There's another guard trying to get in here. All right, I'm going to keep with Bjorn so that neither of us have to do this alone. Okay. Because it sounds like a big ruckus in there. Okay. <laughs> so first, so do you go? You go through the doorway when he when Bjorn flips it open. Um. Yeah. After surveying that we're not going to get, you know, troubled. <laughs> okay. Bjorn, you swing that door open, and two security guards immediately swivel, guns up and trained, telling you, "Stop." Gentlemen, we do not have time for this. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to attempt to get this gentleman out. And I walk, I walk calmly to the door, to the security door, and knock on it. Okay, give me a persuasion roll. Meanwhile, Les. Yep. One more shot. Let's one go. One more shot. Let's try. We're trying. Gotta get better. Nope. I broke the computer. Well, then. <laughs> you, you click the button. wants to help me. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God he doesn't have any more advantages. <laughs> Actually, he does. He doesn't have anything. Oh, I do I have an advantage? You do have one. I didn't realize I have uh, one. Chef, either. Chef Matt 20 his persuasion check. Okay. Hold on. Let me... Uh... Oh, care specific, care specific for Les. That's oh, hilarious. Perfect. Another one. All right. Cool. Damn it. Do you want to? Do you want to use the new one too? Sure. Use them all. I need to get out. I need to cause some chaos. Come on. Yes. Come on. All right. Botch nine. Botch. Chaos denied. Two out of three ain't best. Uh, After a lot of clicking, something pops up on the screen saying security threat detected. God damn it. Shutting down. I hope you're not a robot. Fine. Uh, as, you, as you hear a new set of voices in the hallway just outside. Yep. Okay. You said the security office has a window overlooking the, desk. the yeah, yard. Sure does. Yeah. We're going to shoot the window and jump out. Yeet! <laughs> I can't open it. I was like, everybody's, I'm trapped in here. There's only one way out that doesn't involve gunshots, and I've lost my opportunity of making it as crazy as possible, so. It, it is uh, bulletproof glass. Oh, it is bulletproof? Okay. So, I'm, I'm going to need, like, a really good roll for that, and I hope you've saved up botches. Just to there, go. Right. There's a heal in chat for Les. Oh, God. Aww. Perfect. You know. Oh wait, hold on. I never. You know, we've had a lot. We've had a lot of chaos in this campaign. I didn't think anything would top pee bottle interrogation. <laughs> and yeah, here we are. <laughs> uh, heal three on top of uh, basically whatever you've taken. Uh, have that. <laughs> have. Yeah. What I taken? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. As you as you heal as you go. All right, I gotta I so, do that, but let's go ahead and do that shot. Okay. No. It it thuds into the glass, but it it's definitely not enough to make it through the plastic glass kind of spider webs, and it goes opaque. But you know that wasn't enough. 
okay. to knock it out. As the security guards outside of the office, let Bjorn in. Into the security they, office? They are they are happy enough based on his soothing, confident presence to just take a breather. The one guy just try to figure out how badly he shot. The other, not really sure. You saw his friend get shot. Uh so whatever this is, he really doesn't want a part of it, actually. So I knock on the door and then open it. Just opening the door first, kind of expecting a preemptory gunshot before I walk in. Okay. If there's no shot, I poke my head in. Hello. Shoot him, Liz. <laughs> you poked your head in? Yes. Cool, shooting. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll see. 22. That Damn. hits. I know that hits. <laughs> I know that hits, Bjorn. Jesus. Yeah. This. Maybe you weren't expecting someone to immediately jump the gun. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but the second the door opens, you find yourself pummeled in the yeah. shoulder. He, like, he, with a he just, hot round. The door opened and he just held, because he's been doing the same thing, where he opens the door and then slides something in. <laughs> he was just like... There's nothing here that he wants to do, so he shot the first thing that came through. Take six damage. Uh, I th I fall in, fall into the room. Oh God! Oh God! Waiting for the door to close. Hey. Okay. Um. You know what? Give me a performance. <laughs> Jesus. Liz, you you see this guy? You definitely shot. You see the wound open up. And he drops to the ground, screaming. Sounds right. He's screaming. He shot. Mm. Accurate. As, oh, look, there's Verso. Following up behind him. Where is he <laughs> the door? Uh, Pulling my hands up. <laughs> well, you know, I've shot a couple times. Let's move over to that dead security guard and pick up his gun now. Yep, you're running out. <laughs> he's no, he's aware. He's like, yep. I, it's like, you can grab it, no problem. He just moves over to the other. New gun, new gun. Just do you think think we could maybe put a pause to this and just have a conversation? Yeah, like that hurts. I I then stand back up. Motherfucker, man. Was that really necessary? Really? Hmm. Shooting him again. Nah. It's, it's like, it's like a quizzical look. Like, looks at his gun, looks at his, like, looks at his wounds, looks at Bjorn, and goes, hmm. Shoots him again. <laughs> Just, <I'm, laughs> like, science. I have a theory to test. Science! <laughs> it's so... Must not have hit not enough lead in the last one. <laughs> My ha! Huh. That hits. Right. Okay. For now, since it's a science experiment, I will not use vital strike. I was gonna ask. <laughs> I was gonna ask. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> he has no armor on. He has nothing to protect him. He's not taking yeah. cover, so you easily shoot him again. This time, where are you shooting him this time? Uh uh, like, I shot him in one shoulder, I shoot him in the other. I'm basically just... You shoot him in the other shoulder. Just to see what happens. <laughs> his, body, his body rocks a little from the velocity as the wound what? definitely opens up. Uh-huh. As, as Bjorn takes a, a, more damage. Swearing. Still up. Huh. Swearing in multiple languages. Oh, that's not... That's new. Can you stop? Well, it was. Seriously. Not in the Can middle you of something. Out? Yeah, we noticed. This then. Brand spanking new by the feel of it. Um, yeah, this is my first prison escape. Not what I meant. Versa, what did you say? Okay. <laughs> I I just um stated that he must be new to this, like shooting a mortal, <laughs> probably feeling the buzz. Expecting results and not getting them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> to which he replied, yeah, it's my first prison escape. 
And then awesome. that. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, standing back. Bjorn, back Bjorn you can do something if you want. First, you can do something if you want. Is there a chair in the room? There are many chairs. There's like three chairs. I'm going to gesture to a chair that's near um, Les here. And why don't you have a seat and we will talk? Quickly. Because the longer we talk... No, no, there's no quickly talking about this. I have to go. <laughs> well, you've got yourself the quite a predicament. Because I'm trying to get out. If they're not going to die like they're supposed to, I'll move on to my next job, my next thing. <laughs> Okay. You shoot the window again. Yep. The cracking spider web gets gets bigger. Still doesn't seem quite enough. How many bullets is this gun? <laughs> is this gun out now? The old actually... one? Yes. The old one is yeah. out now. Ah, shit. <laughs> Throw that on the ground. <laughs> okay. Fuck well, that. Throw it at the window. <laughs> yeah, just throw it, just throws it at the window. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. Smack. She just bounces off, clatters to the ground. All right. In proper Goldberg style, going right after Les Brockner, uh, I'm gonna try to do the Viking do the Viking spear. Okay, strength I'm versus tackle, strength. I'm tackle his tackle his ass to the ground. Okay. Okay, you collide with his body. And th he's thrown backward, but there's a desk right before him, behind him. So he's he's knocked off balance, but he isn't actually on the floor as his body just hits all of that computer equipment, sending keyboards and mice just clattering to the ground. Okay, I I try to I try to pin his gun hand. Can you just talk to us about the crazy shit that's happening right now? It's a prison escape! Those other two guards appear in the doorway. <laughs> I shoot at them if I can! Because they might not die, but the guards have been got dying. <laughs> okay. On the roll. Yeah. Uh, you missed the first one. Okay. You missed the second one. Your shots they fly. Hoping that they'll get the fuck out. <laughs> they, they, they duck down and like drop off to the sides to take cover on the other side of the wall for this, this moment. And I close the door. <laughs> <laughs> you can close the door. Okay, we're gonna close the door and minimize distractions here. Can we lock it from the inside or no? You can't, but those chairs, you can kind of like bump up against the doorknob if you want to do it old fashioned style. Might as well. Okay. Okay. We're just like you. Now fucking knock it off. I ain't ever seen you in here, man. <laughs> There's more to life than what goes on in prison. Specifically, yours. Religious. Did you... F Has something really weird been happening to you bodily in the past, oh, 30, 45 minutes? Yeah, we'll go with that. Sure. Oh. Did you feel a random buzzing ringing in your ears, kind of like your teeth were electrified for a minute? I've been getting shot. I've been feeling a lot of things. For someone who's been getting shot, you're standing around really well. I'm aware. I move my, I go, like move over to show him where he shot me and show him that the wound's also closing. I noticed that too. Yes. Perhaps you and I aren't so far aren't so far apart here. That's great. Let's talk about it outside. I'd love to. So would I. What's your plan? I'm making it up as I go. And okay. How's that working out for you? Well, some jackasses ran into the room and is now causing me to wait my damn time. So, not great. Where are you going from here? The yard? That was the other op- that was the option since the- 
The outside, the out hallway's got guards in it right now. I could take a shot at a time. I'm not sure how many I can take. You I'm not looking to several. find out. Well, that's great. I'm not looking to put that into scientific practice just yet. You're a scientist. Okay. How much do you Think weigh? logical. Enough. Okay, cool. We're about to do a... Uh, uh, <laughs> You're going to try. Is exactly what he's thinking right now. He's just like... <laughs> He's thinking demolition man came to mind. He's like, how much do you weigh? I'm gonna throw you at the window. First, so any ideas on how we could get him out of here? So I don't know what I need to do to do that. If you want to try, I need athletics versus athletics. Okay. Are you uh, trying, Brad? No. Oh yeah, oh. he's totally trying. M Mateo okay. walked away. He's still on the I need to go now before more guards come, and y'all just want to sit here and chat. Yeah. Okay. You all okay. to help. He's taking it his way. I'm still here. In the, okay, right. in the closet. Right. Um, oh. Do you and Timmy want to do anything? Uh, wait, no, no, I don't have it. Gunshot any. sound off. This isn't the chase, so no. Is the door to the storage room open at this point? It can be open or closed. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we didn't get... specify. Yeah. So he tried to throw you, nothing happened. What do you want to do, Timmy? As I said. Okay. Well, wait a second, wait a second. Looks back at Verso. You said I could take a lot of bullets, or several bullets. Yes. What else could I take? Okay, hold up there. We're going back to the storage <laughs> closet really quick. I'll just list a lot of vague things. <laughs> A lot is the list. A lot, a lot. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, to me. How, there's nothing else I can do as far as helping the nurse, right? She is stabilized, so that is about as much as you can do in a storage closet of the prison. Okay, Timmy's going to do a dummy. Okay. He's going to dart out the door and uh, start heading in the direction of the security room. I'm gonna Very kneecap, I'm gonna kneecap him. Okay. I know he can't die. I know he can't die. Okay. You know, with the gun, yeah? Yeah. Fire then. I told him to stay in the room if he's gonna be a bad boy. <laughs> You're grounded. Don't the, lost your kneecap privileges. The rules have changed. <laughs> Oh, God, I forgot about that. I'm guessing this is going to be a 9 mil, since that's what you've been using for the guards. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, that hit. <laughs> that hit. 16 hit, Tim. Uh, not much, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, can I uh, use human shield to have it hit the, the uh, guard? The guard that was in there helping you? I just it, have it hit him instead of me. I don't have a reason why not. So, um, kind of like spin oh, and... Wait a second. No, it adds more to it. No, I'm not going to do that. I, it, it adds more damage to it. Never mind. Okay. I ain't trying to kill the poor guy. Nah, I'll take it. Okay. Bullet bursts through the back of your leg. <laughs> Bullet to the knee. You stumble. It hurts. Nine damage. Ow, what the hell? I said stay in the room. It shot me. I did. And in like five minutes, it'll be like nothing happened to you. At least you're understanding. Yep, just props back up against the wall. <laughs> back in the security office. Jason will add one final thing. Like, it's not like I shot you in the head. <laughs> All right. Well, they, I told what, me I could take what, a lot. He's going to start slamming what, into the window himself. What do you, I still need these bullets. How about we just all run out of here? You're dressed in scrubs. I'm covered in blood. He, 
He's not. Easily, this could be the two of you trying to get me out of here into safety. Anybody who's running up to a prison who understands that like, gunshots have been fired is going to be on the lookout. Okay, we'll have to kill the guards outside first because they already know who I am. Well, put on a mask and put on a mask and hope. I no, because like put on a get mask. You, oh, what? Okay. It gets you. A, it gets you further down the stairs. Give me an athletics. Okay, you know, start... wearing a mask in a prison doesn't scream red flags. <laughs> oh, this is the perfect time. You, you like, get up there with a running head start, catapulting yourself over the desk into the plexiglass window. It doesn't fracture where the bullets hit, but instead it kind of curves in on itself from the impact just enough to just pop out <laughs> as you plummet down to the yard below. Yep. How much do I take from the fall? I'm not going to say he, he doesn't take anything. He just wanted to make sure. He was like, oh, I can survive that? Cool. Yeah, let's see. One story fall on the broken glass. What could go wrong? You, you surf on the fractured plexiglass. It breaks the wind, wind resistance just a tiny, tiny bit. It's... And you're, the wind is knocked from your body as you splat onto the poorly kept half dead lawn below nice there's no one out there since there's <laughs> no, an alarm we're all running to the top <laughs> where the problem was <laughs> all right uh i don't know what the it looks like because i'm still on the top floor <laughs> right so i don't know what <laughs> where i'll stop it in a second what okay. are verso yeah. and bjorn doing We tried. Looking up. Hmm. We tried. I gave it a genuine effort. But I sincerely doubt that man is going to get out of here without a bullet in his head. No, of course not. I'm looking Which, down from the window. He could have just shot himself in the head and then come back, you know, in, in a dip. He knew that. Okay. It would so would he have gonna... us if we tried? All right. No. <laughs> He's fresh to the immortal life. He's still trying to figure out. Why exactly. He doesn't have time to consider why he's not dying from bullet holes. <laughs> All right. I think it's time we made our made our exit from this facility, don't you? Hmm. Potentially, but I am not sure that we can let him go off without knowing everything yet. He seems awful desperate. <laughs> hey! <I think> anyway. <laughs> hey! The guards from the hallway burst into their room, look around, notice Les is no longer in the room, and rush to the door, to the window, to see Fucker, where he went. Fucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. One, one of the guards will start to tend to Bjorn and his shrinking injuries. As the other one fires down at It's worse Liz. than I Yeah. That misses. Yep. What are you doing, Liz? Uh, trying to get a, like... I mean, slip. Yeah. Either prison. All right. Um, you have landed smack in the middle. Smack in the middle of the yard. The only yard. place to go is to the outer, to the other cells. All right. Well, the plan right now, because I do know the prison, would be the uh, the cells hallway receiving out the back. <laughs> that's that's his. Okay. That is his current plan. Okay. So you're going for one of those side doors? Yep. Okay. Evens or odds? Evens. You approach the door, 
hoping that whoever's key card you has works on both floors. And as you swipe it, it boops green. All right. You are easily able to slip out of the side. There are two guards between you and the door to receiving down there. All right. How's my leg doing? First wound is completely healed. Second is half healed. Yeah, yeah. probably you can go 20, 20 feet at a time. Okay. Um. You know what? They, they they say that I can take some stuff. It's fine. Uh, I'm still not sure about the head, though. We'll take the bulletproof vest and just put it in front of my face as I just barrel down the hall. Because I'm... Okay. I'm... <laughs> Perfect. Not the okay. face, not the face. Pretty much just <laughs> like blood protecting the, the area he's not sure about. I, I assume you're just going like raw strength, so give me an athletics. Yeah. They're not running, so this isn't pursuit. <laughs> this <Nope>. is... <laughs> um, that's to get for, past the first one. Do me one more to get uh, past the second one. Oh no! <laughs> you you make it past the first one. They get like tossed into the drywall, making a huge human shaped dent. The other one stops me. But the second one is almost as big as you, okay. and you just hit them and bounce off. All right. As he pulls his gun. Cool. Saying the usual, freeze, get on the ground. All right. Uh, I shoot him. <laughs> this has not been, this has been his MO the entire time. <laughs> that is not enough to hit. Uh, and he's going to shoot back at you. Not enough to hit. <laughs> like inches it's away from Trading firefight. I'm going to do. You're hitting each other's vests. I'm going to do one more shot each. Okay. And then just kind of narrate from there. Cool. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, Your shot. His shot. Oh, his shot hit. Okay. Okay. Nope. That's there. All right. So trading blows. He gets a shot off. You got a shot off. Eventually, you take enough damage that you drop. Oh. <laughs> However. Yeah. Once you're down, you do have a minute between waking back up. Okay. And them noticing you're back awake. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're, it's like it's like he drops when he wakes up and realizes that he's good again or uh, somewhat good. He's while they're distracted, he's making a beeline for the door again because I'm not gonna fight them. Standing here and fight's just gonna get more guards to come here. I'll just ha I don't have that many bullets. So, <laughs> only one last stealth that is with advantage. All right. As Les Brockner <laughs> makes his way through receiving and out to sweet, sweet freedom. <laughs> They're like, okay, right, he's down. Turn their backs on the check the other guard. And then when they yeah. turn around, he's he's not there. Gone. Back upstairs. Verso and Bjorn, you see him disappear into the lower floor from the yard. And Point to the officers, you have fled the office. Yep. Do you want to return back to the storage closet where you last knew everyone else was? Do you want to do anything else? Um. Is there an option to wipe camera feeds that is easily nav navigated? 
From the security office? There is not. In fact, the computer is off. <laughs> Thanks, Les. Thanks. You're welcome. It's not my problem anymore. <laughs> Do we see any, like, hard drives of... No, it's all fed to a server elsewhere in the prison. Okay. Is there a camera in the security office that we can see? There is. Up in the corner. Yeah. I would like to see if I can get into it somehow. I have no technological experience, but I still want to see if we can maybe, you know, not leave anything incriminating behind us. Like, they totally just talked to the dude that killed quite a few officers and didn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, so kept officers from coming in. <laughs> you sure did. That yeah. definitely happened. That definitely I, uh, happened. You know what? Roll me computers. Passwords, oh, password. Come on. Ah, <laughs> you, you you scoot your chair over and get up on the chair. I know and this. Fiddling it's, with the camera in the corner. It's a Unix system. <laughs> you reach up, wrap your hands around it, and jerk it from the ball like, surely that's good. That'll do it. <laughs> I'm verso. <laughs> that hurts. Out of character, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's taken care of, guys. Got it. Got it. We're good. <laughs> do you want to meet back up with Jason and Tim? Yes, um, Versa, for the sake of pantomime and the blood on me, which we're probably not going to be able to hide, let's, I'll pretend to be hurting a lot worse than I am and you'll be helping me. We tried to talk oh, him down, he shot me, and then he escaped, right? Right. Okay. Just so we got our cover straight. Oh God! Oh, oh God! Shot me! I am not looking at Bjorn as we are walking down this hallway. <laughs> I'm gonna say nobody bothered you too too hard because there's so much mayhem already. You can get to the storage closet without question. That is exactly. Okay. Still, still keeping it up until I know there's no one else there. Okay. Cool. You meet back up. Cried. Did you get him? Nope. What happened? Shot me several times, tried to body slam him and talk him down. He shot and then dove through a window out into the yard. And then I guess he must have had a key card or something because he got out into a different part of the prison. You, you tried to talk down. I tried to pin him down. Okay. That's yeah, not what after, first. I, he shot me twice when I walked in before I could say a word. Yeah. I tried that to talk. Game on. Yeah. Tried to talk to him. Didn't work. Body, like, Viking slammed him, tried to stop him. That didn't work, and he shot out the window and then dove through it. Insight check, if I may. <laughs> Yeah, sure. You want to roll deception? Oh, yeah. Sure. How the hell? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gone. My bad rolls are come to you. <laughs> For those of you playing along at home, I have a plus seven to deception, and I still lost that. Yeah. So what parts of that are maybe not exactly truthful? The first version was truthful. Walked in, got shot, tried to talk him down, didn't work. Tried to pin him and talk him down, didn't work. He shut out the window and dove through. Am I missing something? Like, legitimately, am I missing something in that? I think so. Okay. so you, know, you know, Timothy, you know that... His first instinct, his first version of the story was much more close 
to exactly what happened than the revisions he kind of tried to double back and make. Right. You just kind of saw that as to Jason and then lets it go. I think we need to be getting on. This is going to be very hard to explain why we have multiple holes in people and no wounds. And just to try to solve a problem for you guys, hey, Timmy, can you roll me intelligence? Sure. <laughs> Ooh, can I use the... Uh, can I use the advantage? Damn it, Brad. You can. You have one. Oh! So ones and twenties to... much better. This is a... Look Back what you did, this. Brad. Look what you did, Brad. <laughs> Goddamn Decepticons. <laughs> does, that, does anybody else have any underworld connections or... Oh, would it have been better? I, I have Historian, no. if that helps. <laughs> she has the thing for knowing things about other immortals. It, no. All right. Okay. I've, I've got the contacts to... I don't know, maybe Grace can help or something? Okay. Um... I, mm, roll, roll intelligence. It's really more of a... Oh, I understand this is a long shot. I was waiting for you to tell me no. Just, just roll it. Yeah, nah. Oh, God! Nah, you got nothing. <laughs> I make everyone stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. Don't do that, Brad. <laughs> who, who, what, what broken feet have you used on us tonight? Just shut off. Cool. <laughs> well, I, I guess we'll kind of we'll kind of wrap up here as as the prison is is cleared. Eventually, you guys will all be released, at least until they review security footage later. Yay! I did a good thing. <laughs> first, 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 I was not worried. Figured it out, guys. Slide First it. Oh, no, I got us. I've, I've got us. I got it. I saw this shit on the for once. Where we will wrap up tonight. In props time, I will let you say nice things about Brad with no R and no penalty to you. That is just an extra nice thing you can say. Oh. <laughs> it's a great game, you guys. There are some decisions that I did not expect. <laughs> There was some things, that's for sure. <laughs> and I love that, you know, come out of nowhere. We'll start. We'll start with Artie. Artie, who who did nice things, and by nice uh, I mean interesting and not necessarily good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad said bitch tonight, so that was something new. That is um, a Brad, You said that, and Artie immediately chats like, I've never heard Brad call somebody a bitch before. <laughs> Cup. Never heard of that one either. So that's part of it, but also just freaking A. I just love how just how much of a chaotic character we got. Just we're sitting here trying to ask questions to this guy like who who paid you? And then Brad's downstairs, nurse in hand, Honestly, going to the other hand. That was one of my biggest distractions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting, sitting here trying to like think out my questions, and next, Brad goes off the rails, and I'm like, no. Huh? And every thought I had was just <laughs> somewhere, just down this hall on this map. A Brock Lesnar lookalike is taking a nurse hostage. <laughs> so who was that for exactly? Was that for Timothy or help? Oh. My prop goes to Brad. <laughs> oh, nobody else. Just Brad. Perfect. Okay. Well, I All thought right. we were doing props. Everybody did great. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, Brad is a freebie. Yeah, I get a freebie. If you want to say something nice about me, that's it fine. Doesn't it, your, it doesn't count as your, it doesn't count as your Oh, yeah. okay, I'm sorry. One of, one of the people you play with every week, Artie. Yeah. Jason for kneecapping a child. <laughs> that was that was good. That was good. In case there wasn't any indication to how much over this bullshit Jason is. I am willing to knee I am not beyond kneecapping an eleven year old boy. He's not eleven. Fine. He's not eleven. 
<laughs> He's sitting there bleeding from the knees. I've been through a lot, okay? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, Glendizel. Like I said, Brad, every time I tried to make a plan and you you had your turn, my, I just, I couldn't help but focus on what you were doing and everything I was trying to do just went away. <laughs> and it was like, this is so hard. I was uh, given one job, get out of this prison by any means necessary. That was, <laughs> that was, that was his direction from the person running the game. That was my, that was my rule. So... Beautiful. Oh, uh, you know, I think I gotta go, uh, props to Bjorn. Okay. For one, taking the enhanced empathy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, just being able to talk your way past them to begin with, I didn't. Mm -hmm. And expect that to even work in, in that 20 bit. Yep. I was just like, oh, okay. This yep. is the thing that's happening now. Pretty much. Same. That was me too. <laughs> I was like, this oh. is also me. <laughs> like, all right, go on in. Confident stranger. <laughs> Confident stranger. <laughs> all right. Chef, say nice things. Oh, man. Brad. Dude, we have been gaming for way too many years. I, am, I have yet to find a game where you did not have some kind of edge and some kind of angle. No matter what situation you were in, you always had that little, like, pop the locks, find a way through. And honestly, that was just... When you tried to defenestrate me, I knew, I knew it was a good night. Thank you. But yeah, uh, in terms of props, I want to give it to Timmy for, for, for like, basically forgetting he's a kid. Like he's sitting there across from a mob boss who could easily have him killed, and he's like, "Well, you know, we just want to talk, you know, stuff like that." And he's forgetting that he's eleven. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Okay, I'll be right back. Last but not least. I'm giving it to Artie uh, just for the, the, I'm the hack of the system. I got it, guys. <laughs> it's done. Got it. Nailed it. I am Verso. <laughs> my work is done. Ha ha. <laughs> of course, my oldest friend, <laughs> Brad with no R. Brad at video games. There are many things that he's, he's Brad at. Being a little ruthless chaos goblin <laughs> is not one of them. In fact, it's one of the things he thrives in. <laughs> I, 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 out of character, because like I bounce that Jen bounces things off of me, knew what the general premise of what Brad was going to be tonight. This is not the angle I was expecting it to go, uh, or anything. And uh, good job. Good job, Brad. I fucking we rarely get to play together because normally uh, you're playing in games I run. Uh, this this made me so happy, so happy. When when I was thinking about this particular new immortal episode, I know a lot of players feel some kind of hesitancy when it comes to I don't know blatantly trying to murder other players. <laughs> Some people, some of us do. Some, some, when, people. some of us. And I asked for volunteers, and Brad was like, yeah, I can do it. I was, in my most gremlin of hearts, delighted. <laughs> Nobody's safe if Brad's playing Brad, y'all. I, I had full faith that he would do his very best to accomplish his goal, even if it meant wrecking everyone else's shit. And so I didn't really have to wreck anyone's shit tonight. <laughs> you just put all that on Brad. <laughs> a thousand thanks. He gave Brad a sheet and said, things. here. <laughs> and cut him loose. That's what happened. The yeah. violence gremlin I so badly desired. You're a bad guy. You're in prison. You've done some bad things. You can't die. As many <laughs> way you can. And by the way, you're immortal. 
Hell yes! <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> it makes me shine. This is one of the this is one of the rare times. Normally, I don't care about like. The V tube thing. I wish I could have gotten to see all the delight on your face in the course of this game tonight, because I know you were just grinning the entire yeah. time. Amazing! Thank you, everybody. Power back to you, Daddy. Yeah, guys, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for this very special episode with a very special guest star. Uh, we are joined tonight by Verso uh, Amani, portrayed by Artie Du Two, uh, Bjorn Ragnarsson. Played by Chef Corhall, aka Corhall. Timothy, portrayed by Glenn Dizzle. And of course, I see him, Daddy, portraying the, the so over it mortal, Jason Wild, with an E. And this game is run by Jen of Thieves. She was delightful and wonderful and good, as always. Uh, if you're not on our Discord, come join our Discord. We would love to have you on the Discord. Come talk to all these people and be like, yo. Good job tonight, guys. Uh, if this is your first time checking out Highlander, head over to YouTube. Everything's uploaded in a nice handy-dandy playlist. You can catch up on all the shenaniganry. And then, of course, if you want to support us and give us all of your money instead of just half of it and half of it going to Amazon, uh, click that Patreon link either there in chat or down below and give us some monies uh, so we can continue to build things and buy things and get things and make things for the channel. All the money from Patreon and Twitch uh, goes directly back into the channel. So... All of your money is very helpful. Uh, to Seems like those mommy's things. about to need some demon money. Oh yeah, that's right. And uh, we had a vote this week for Jen's next game, the game that'll be coming after Highlander. And let's head over to the Discord channel real quick and look at that. How bad was it? <laughs> that's pretty bad. Oh, when you when you factor in the weighted votes from the Patreon. Yep. One second. Uh, there was. One, two, three, uh, four, or well, it's Futter Guy, so five for Midnight World, that's sad, and way more than that for Demon the Fallen. So Jen's next game will be Demon the Fallen, a very special campaign where she's going to be very choosy as to who plays and so on and so forth, because Demon is a very broken, broken game, but it's awesome. Um, potentially very R-rated. And potentially very R-rated. Uh so yeah, there's that, uh, which means after that will be uh, my next vote. Uh, who knows what it'll be? Uh, I've got ideas. I don't know which one I'm going to be going with or for to put against each other. Uh, in Pokemon Battle, that is how we determine the games for the streams. Yeah, words, stuff. We love you. We hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll see you back on Wednesday for Dungeons & Dragons. And if we don't see you then, we'll see you maybe Friday for Werewolf the Apocalypse. And if we don't see you then, maybe we'll see you again next Sunday for more Highlander. Until then, I hope your work week treats you well, and we'll see you next time. And remember, Daddy loves you. <laughs>